everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and I've got a fun St. Patrick's Day treat for you. Actually, it doesn't have to be St. Patrick's Day, but I am using the Lucky Clover stamp um, this week, and so I'm trying to make some, you know, fun St. Patrick's themed type things. Um, I'm using this stamp right here. Now, some of you may know this stamp set had a punch with it, but it sold out really fast and it's gone. So all of my projects, you can make without the punch. Today, we're gonna fussy cut this, but I'm gonna show you an option where you don't even have to do that. Um, okay, so we're using that, and I decided to bring in Charming Sentiments. Um, we're gonna use the Good Luck, um, only because it has the dies, it just makes it super easy to cut out. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so what's in here, you ask? Well, let me show you. I mean, what is better on St. Patrick's than Lucky Charms, right? This box, it has Golden Grams too, which are delicious, but um, this was the only box I could find, um, and my kids will eat all the rest, I guarantee you. But these little Lucky Charms cereal bars are super cute. Um, I got this on Amazon. I'll have a link for you on my blog post, but I happened to see them at the Dollar Tree last week as well. They were kind of down on the bottom shelf um, being sold individually. So anyways, that's where you can find them. Okay, so we're gonna make the box first. You're gonna need a piece of gorgeous grape that measures seven by six and a fourth. Let me get my notes closer to me. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Um, this, these measurements will be on a free PDF over my blog. So don't feel like you have to write them down really quickly. Just hop over there and grab that free PDF. All right, on the short side, on the six and a fourth inch side, <clears throat> we're gonna score it three fourths, two and three fourths, three and a half, and five and a half. Turn it to the other side, the long side, and score it at three fourths and six and a fourth. Okay, grab your bone folder, and we're just gonna burnish these lines. And burnish the other lines. Your bone folder will make everything nice and crisp. All right, now, this box is a mirror image on either side, so it doesn't matter which side um, that you do this. But on one of the shorter sides, you're gonna cut off one of the squares, all right? And then you're gonna come down here and trim, just snip these lines. And while you're here, Cut the corners off of those tabs. Also, we're gonna cut this one off right here. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Cut this off. And then come down here and snip, 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 and cut those corners off. There we go. Now, the last thing I want you to do is just cut the corners off of this long tab right here. Okay, now we're gonna put adhesive and I'm gonna use tear and tape right here along this long tab. And we'll peel that up. And we're gonna fold this over the other side. All right, so if you lay it flat, they should match up perfectly like that, and now you've got this little skinny box. We're gonna fold up one end and we're gonna adhere it. So wherever your rough edge is, that's the back. And then take your tear and tape and peel that off and close that up. Now let's put our yummy treat inside like that. And we're just gonna use ribbon to close up the top. That way the recipient doesn't have to tear open your box to get the treat out. I have cut a piece of Hughes, Hughes of Happiness designer series paper. Um, it's actually on low inventory as I speak. So hopefully if you want it and need it, it'll be there when you want to get it. But if not, look through your stash. I'm sure you can find something else that will work as well. All right, now I decided to use gold ribbon, you know, because St. Patrick's Day, gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> I don't know. 
All right, so let's see. We're going to tie this box closed if I can get it to behave. I'm going to take it and wrap it around and tie a bow here at the top. Okay, and then get your good scissors, which I don't have, and trim. Oh no, you see how it's chewing that ribbon? This is why you gotta have ribbon scissors separate from everything else. All right, there we go. Now, that was easy, right? Now, you're gonna get a stitched circle. This is from the Stylish Shape Dies. And we're gonna stamp the clover right in the middle. Now, you can just leave it like this if you want, and it'll work. But what I did is I cut out the top part of the clover and popped it up on top just to give me some more dimension. Um, since we don't have the punch anymore, I'm just gonna use my scissors to cut it out. But if you have the punch, you can punch it out. And we'll cut that out with the matching die. All right, one thing I have found about the Charming Sentiments dies is that they really don't leave much of a border. So you've got to really get it lined up perfectly. Look in all the nooks and crannies and make sure it's lined up everywhere. And just in case I don't want it to slip, I'm gonna take some post-it tape and set that down. And look at that, isn't that beautiful? I love word dies, or dies that cut out words. All right, now let's take our scissors. We're gonna cut off all that excess cardstock, and then I'm just gonna take my small scissors. You wanna use your smallest scissors and go around slowly, leaving a white border around the image. That way, if your cuts are kind of crooked or um, jagged maybe, like we all do, then the truly the person who's looking at it is only gonna see the edge of the green image. They're not gonna see your white. It's gonna blend in with the white circle behind it. All right, so make your way around. Cut off that stem. And slowly go, don't rush. Stay in the middle of your scissors, your scissor blades, and turn with the opposite hand. And there we go. Awesome. All right, let's get it all set up. We're just gonna take a dimensional Set that right there. Now again, if you don't wanna do that, just put this right here, okay? But I'm gonna put that right there with a dimensional so that we have a little bit of popped up. Um, and then I'm gonna take my many dimensionals and put that right there and we'll just put that right in the middle. Bring your box back. Dimensionals on either side of the ribbon and put that right there. Now, last but not least, let's add some gold coins to it. All right, these are the adhesive back sequins. Makes it really, really easy. They come in, the package has two sizes, so you can kind of vary that as you place them around your box. And done. Okay, you guys, really easy treat to make. Um, and those Lucky Charm bars are really fun. Everybody loves Lucky Charms, right? All right, you guys, click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, um, get that free PDF, and let me know if you have any questions. Happy St. Patrick's, bye-bye.